Hey guys, this is Jim K and four YCD and you're watching FEP labs radio. Thanks for stopping by. So on this video, I want to show you how we're going to integrate our data out of radio reference into our Unication G4 scanner. I did a video on this scanner already, and there'll be a link to it up here somewhere. And you can take a look at that. This is my new favorite scanner. This is probably better than an SDS 100 in my opinion certainly because it's smaller than the SDS-100. It is USB rechargeable, and the battery life on it seems to be pretty good. Scanning-wise, it seems to keep up with my SDS-100 just fine, and it works very well for simulcast systems, which is where I live. In this video, I want us to take a look at the CPS software and how we're going to pull in the radio reference data that I used to program this scanner. A lot of people had asked, where do you get the data from? I mostly use radio reference and most CPS software, whether it's for a scanner like this, or whether it's for your HT or your two meter rig or whatever, most of that CPS software will interface with radio reference directly or indirectly. And I'll have another video on radio reference coming up. However, today we're gonna kind of walk through what I did to import my local P25 systems. This scanner, and most scanners are not front panel programmable, and you certainly don't want to do that for a P25 system. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch screens here. We're going to take a look at the CPS software for the Unication G4 scanner. And this is the same basic CPS for all the Unication scanners. This may not work on the G1. That's the older model. I don't know. Don't have it. Can tell you. The basic thing here is right up here on this giant orange button, is import radio reference. So we're going to go ahead and click that. I've already put in my radio reference account credentials. I have a annual subscription of radio reference. I think it's about $30. All right. So I'm going to connect up to my radio reference account and we're going to bring this window over here where we can all see it. And that should be visible to everyone. And I've already been in this obviously. So we can select the region. Now, I'm in the United States. Radio Reference has data for other countries. Um, we can select by country, and I could pull all the Radio Ref data for Canada, Australia, the United States. We're going to do the United States. I'm in Alabama. I'm in Montgomery County. And then if I come over here, I can select what kind of systems I'm interested in in Montgomery. And this is more of a filter. The data is all there. This is just what we're going to get back. We have conventional systems, and this is how it's broken down in radio reference. I'm not interested in conventional stuff. We can have it by agencies, and these are some of the agencies that are broken out. And we can hit P25 trunking systems. And these are the two P25 systems that are available in Montgomery County. So we're gonna pick the Montgomery Metro Communications Cooperative District. I would have thought they could have come up with a better name. And we're until it get data. And so these are all the sites and talk groups available on the MMCCD system, Montgomery Metro system. We're just going to call it Montgomery Metro. What you can see here is there are multiple sites for this system. Now, straight up, some of these sites are not local to me, so I would never hear anything on those particular at those particular towers. So there's no point in me importing that data into my scanner unless I'm ever going to be in any of those areas. I can pick and choose what sites I import. So for the sake of the video, let's say I just want to bring in the main simulcast site. So these are all the talk groups that are available and I can come down here and I can say, I want all of Alabama public safety. And if I open that up, you'll see it's all those particular talk groups. And I'm going to use the word channel and talk group interchangeably here. Um, I'm not interested in any of that. I don't want the board of education. I want the sheriff's office, but the sheriff's office has a whole lot of talk groups channels that I'm not interested in. So I want dispatch. I want TAC 1 and TAC 2. I don't want legal courts, CID. 
I think that about covers it for the sheriff's office. So I have just picked out those two. And I'll pull up Montgomery Fire, and I want all of Montgomery Fire. And on Montgomery County Fire, I just want my old department. That is what I have picked. Now, this will vary from CPS to CPS, but the way you can do it in this CPS software for the Unication Scanner, you can import it as a public resource. I'm a little fuzzy on how that works in this software. So what I've done is I import it to the profile and I tell it to create a new zone and knob. And then I say import to profile and it tells me it pulled in one site and that's going to be the, uh, the main simulcast for the county right here. And it's pulled in 19 different control channels, 19 talk groups I selected, and this is going to be on zone one, knob one. Now this particular software, it always calls everything zone one, knob one every time. I don't know why. And then if we go jump in our profile, we go down to zone and channel settings. We have a new zone right here on knob one. I suspect that if I kept all these named zone one, two, three, four, and five, it would have called this zone six, but I don't know. And it is on knob position one. So what this has done, and let's pull this up. And when you look at this, there are some parameters for this particular uh, set of scanning sites, systems that I want to listen to. But these are all the talk groups available now out of the list I selected from radio reference, out of the radio reference data. These sites, these are these particular talk groups are available on the site or sites that I selected when we imported the radio ref data. So now I can pick and choose what I want to listen to. I imported more stuff than I actually want to listen to particularly. This is something specific to this CPS. Um, other CPS may act in a similar fashion, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I want fire. It automatically adds the first talk group every time, so we don't want that. But I want to get all of Montgomery fire, so I'm going to say add that, add that. We can also make these priority talk groups. I don't feel any need to do that. And I'm going to add Pent Lala Fire on there. So now this is all fire department stuff in Montgomery County that I'm interested in listening to. Now this particular setting right here, if I change to this zone, and let's call this the test zone. If I switch to the test zone on knob one, I'm only going to have fire departments. Man, I really would like to be able to switch over and listen to the police every so often too. So with this CPS, and again, this function is probably available in a lot of other stuff, but for the G4 scanner, which is kind of what we're talking about, this is how you do it. So I can right click on this and say copy. I can paste this whole thing over here. And now I've got zone one knob one, and it says that in both places. We're gonna change those names. And we're going to change this from zone one knob one. This is the first one we set up county fire. Let's just go with that. So we'll save that. And you can see down here now it doesn't say zone one knob one. Let's change this guy. And we're going to call this county police. So we'll change that name. County police. And then I can come down here. Those are all the talk groups we had listed before, plus the ones I had selected. Since I copied and pasted, it copied all the parameters I set for that first zone and knob combination. We don't want fire on this one, so we're going to pull all those out. But notice, I didn't have to go back and re-import stuff from radio reference because I imported everything I was interested in for the scanner at this time in one go, so it's all available. So now let's just pull all the county police. So let's get Montgomery County Dispatch, TAC 1, TAC 2. And I guess I didn't import city police. We'll get Capitol Police. And that's all we'll save. Actually, let's get rid of Capitol Police. So we just got county police. Save it. So now we've got a zone name test, which is accessed through the front panel of the G4. 
And then in the test zone, each knob position, knob one is county fire, knob two is county police. Let's do one more. Copy it, paste it, edit it, and we'll call this one state troopers. We'll call this ALEA, Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. We'll go down to our talk groups again. Let's take out the sheriff's office and let's add in all of the ALEA channels. So now we have one zone called test with a county fire on one knob position, county police on another knob position, and the state troopers uh, on the third knob position. So that is an excellent feature of this software, the way this works. And I copied these from each knob position to a new knob position. I can also copy the entire zone, right click, copy, add, paste. And now I have a complete duplicate on another zone. So I could put in, uh, you know, whatever different systems I wanted to that way. And I'm almost done with what I wanted to share in this video. That was one thing was the way you can slice and dice this from radio reference. And if you don't have a subscription to radio reference, I highly recommend it. It's about $30 a year. It gets you a subscription to broadcastify as well, where you can listen to thousands of other fire departments, police departments, ambulance services, other public radio stuff all over the place. We've got all our zones in here and I wanted to make sure and let you know why I did it this way, because this kind of explains it too, I think. So you say, well, that's great. You set it up for your county. You're, I've got Montgomery County Police. I've got Montgomery County Fire. I've got state troopers. What if I'm traveling somewhere? We're going to simply make a new zone. So we made a copy of Tess. Let's do that again. Copy him. Add. Paste. And we'll call this Tess 2. Just to show it's different. And then I could go back to radio reference. And I can pull in, uh, this is another city. Let's say this is a different city, uh, Boston. So I'm going to travel to Boston. I want to get all the Boston systems. So the way I do this is you change zones on the radio by pressing a soft key on the front, and then you get a list of zones in your radio, Those yet that yellow column. And, and I set it up so that the yellow column are geographical locations and you can see here on the screen um, Huntsville Orlando Dayton Montgomery Alabama these are my these are the ones I have actually set up for reels so if I go to Huntsville like we were all there a couple weeks ago I'm just gonna go to the zone list by pushing the front panel button on the radio and change into the Huntsville zone once that's done anytime I turn the knob on the radio I can change between different kinds of services to listen to. And I only have one set up on Huntsville, but I could break that out. Fire, EMS, police, railroad, um, the Space Flight Center at Marshall, whatever. That way, while I'm in Huntsville, I don't have to monkey around with the screen. I can just turn the knob and change between agency types, EMS, police, fire. Orlando is a better example. If I go to Orlando, I'm going to go to zone. I'm going to pick Orlando. And now every time I turn the knob, I'm going to have those five choices on the screen here for what I want to listen to in the Orlando area. So Orlando County Fire Rescue, Orlando City Fire, Walt Disney World Police and Fire, Orange County Sheriff's Office, and Orlando Police. So that way, it's really easy to travel with this. 64 talk groups per knob position. You have eight knob positions per zone. So that's eight times 64, which is 512 potential talk groups spread out amongst eight knob positions for a given zone. If you're in a large metro area like Chicago or Atlanta or Los Angeles or something like that, you may have to spread out the police on a couple of different zones because it's there's so many talk groups. Just depends on the system on on the system and where you live, what location and how they have it broken out. Here in Montgomery, I don't need that many. 
I can have 64 separate zones times 512 talk groups per zone with 64 per knob position. So that gives you whatever 512 times 64 is. Too much math, brain blown. So the way they have this set up is excellent. It really lets you utilize this scanner in a very efficient manner. I like the CPS. Um, it's a little more complicated than your average spreadsheet style layout. I've used stuff like ProScan with my unit in 996. I like this a whole lot better. That about covers basic zone and channel setup. We get the data from radio reference. Radio reference is well worth the value. Guys, that's it for this video. If you would give me a thumbs up, make sure you share the video with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any new content. Thanks, y'all. 73.